Hi. So today we will discuss the proof of Ptolemy theorem. All right. So let me draw a circle first. Okay. And mark four points. Any four will do. And this quadrilateral. All the four vertices on this circle is known as a cyclic quadrilateral. You know this. And we label this A, call this B, C, and D. Now let me draw the diagonals. Now what does the Ptolemy theorem say? It says that product of two diagonals, like AC into this one BD, is equal to the product of sums of op 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 opposite sides. AD into BC plus AB into DC. That's what it says. And today we will prove this. Now, this is the clever part of the entire proof. Okay. So what we take is we take a point. Let's call this point K. It's a classic proof. Okay. And then we join uh, BK. Now this K uh, is very special, it is because we make it such that angle ABK, so this one, alright, is equal to TBK, this one, ABK and DBC, alright, now this will be very useful later. And what we will do is, we will find uh, two pairs of similar triangles. Then we will work out the ratio of the sides. And finally, we will arrive at what we want. Now, I need you to notice something. Which two triangles can be, can be considered similar? Alright? So, if you think about it, This angle, okay, this one, you add this, will be equal to this one right over there, right? This is the cyclic quadrilateral, and these two angles are equal in a cyclic quadrilateral, alright? From this, we can say that, okay, triangle, now be careful, A, B, K. A, B, K similar to triangle notice angle A is equal to angle D now A, B, K is equal to D, B, C ok A, B, K, D, B, C because K is constructed in such a manner that was the clever part so D, B, C and which criteria is this? the A criteria and angle, two angles equal and these two angles are also, also equal. Now we need to generate, uh, um, what can we generate? AB and DC from something, okay? What we'll do is, use the theory theorem. Similarity results from similarity. We can say that, okay, AK is to divided by AB okay is equal to dc divided by db all right and from this you can see that bd into ak is equal to ab times cd now let me save this equation as one so you're already seeing the last term being generated here so you can kind of feel that okay from the next triangle we can we'll uh, generate this term and then we'll add these two equations which is exactly what we're going to do now let's look at another triangle all right so if you notice these two triangles these two angles 
will mark them again. This one, D, B, C, and this one. Alright, I marked it in the same color. Now we'll uh, find out which two triangles are similar. Now, what is one thing? If I call this uh, smaller angle, okay, not this one, D, B, K, this one, the this part, let me call this as, let's call this phi, okay. These two, A, B, D, this one will be equal to K, B, C. Why? Because these two angles are already equal, okay, D, B, C and A, B, K, alright, and we subtract them. Subtract the same angle phi from them. So the results will also be equal. So we can say that these two angles A, B, D and A, B, C are equal. Now again, we will find two similar triangles. Now notice triangle C, B, K. C, B, K. Right, it is similar to triangle C is equal to uh, D. Triangle D, okay. So C B K, this one, All right? D B A, D B A. All right, now let us use the ratios. We will, we will do a similar thing. Okay. So CK by CB is equal to DA by DB. So you can already see DA or AD being and BC being produced here. So now we can uh, transport these denominators and we will get BD into CK equal to AD into BC. Save this and write it as equation number 2. So you can already see this term being generated, uh, this term being generated in equation 1 and this one being generated in equation 2. And BD is, uh, BD is also being generated. Right, that's the important thing, and we are done. We just add these two equations, so we add one and two. Okay, so what will we get? BD will be common, so we take BD out. All right, uh, BD times so AK plus CK will be equal to this. These two sums, so AB into CD plus AD into BC and what is AK plus CK this is AK right this is CK so AK plus CK is nothing but AC so from this we get okay let me add this part AC this part times BD equal to AB times CD plus AD plus into BC which is the Ptolemy theorem. So now that we have proved uh, the Ptolemy theorem in this video, in the next video we will prove another very perhaps the most well known theorem of all geometry okay using Ptolemy theorem. So wait for the next video and thanks for watching.